guys welcome back to my world 1.9 brought us new tipped arrows which allows us to do some very very cool things like blowing up villagers all right so this is a this is my um, a TNT arrow okay uh, it'll also allow us to set fire to a village let me just swap this around so if we just kind of start setting fire to these villages um, okay so that's pretty cool pretty cool let me just see if i can start a decent fire um it also means we can kind of um put the fire out as well so if we kind of just check it out a little splash arrow you'll see there goes the splash arrow and when it hits the ground it'll go splash okay and so we can kind of put out fires like this splash um splash splash okay splash um, we can then also do things like what else did I have so I've got the fire arrow uh, I've been playing a lot of thief uh, where you can actually sneak around and then if you on like a hard floor so let's say that I don't want to be heard over gravel I could put a carpet down okay so I can then softly softly sneak around with my carpet um, and then just kind of to show you something else that you could really kind of do is uh, for example you can also do um, like uh, I don't know what you want to call it. So you can also do um, earth bending. So you can see you can now kind of play with with the earth bending, all using the new arrows. And you'll see uh, I still have access to any other kind of arrows. So if I just you know I still have access to my normal normal firing arrows, and I just switch between the two, the, these two. So this is really a cool little feature uh, that has now been added. Now the way that the arrows work is you'll see that I kept on moving the arrows around. The arrow that's the closest to the left hand side will always be used. So you'll see now I've got the normal arrow. If I want to use a TNT arrow, I'll just use it, uh, put that right next to that, and it'll just do my TNT arrow. As you can see, I've tested it quite a bit. Uh, I mean, this is so much fun. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So let's go and have a look at the commands. Now, over here, uh, you'll see that each one of these is a unique arrow. Now, I've left it broken open like this so that you guys can very, very easily actually follow what's going on and make your own contraptions. So what I'm going to do is let me just do, I'm going to just go through one of these arrows. So let me just see, this is the water arrow. Uh, this is the fire arrow. This is the boom arrow. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so there's two parts to the mechanic, so or, or two two states. So if you can see, if I'm if I'm doing that, you'll see that I've got the particles going. All right, boom. But you'll see that the particles is different from that for that. For example, the uh, the water arrow. Okay, so you'll, you can see the particles is different. So we're detecting two states. We're detecting it in the air and we're detecting it on the ground. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to go um, scoreboard players tag, which is the new tag, tag, uh, yeah, scoreboard type equals arrow, add boom. So now this is going to be setting that this is going to be the boom tag. If that arrow has a potion effect of strong strength of uh, on it and it is in the ground, so ground is 1B, I'm going to tag it as being boom. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tag it exactly the same, but I'm going to tag it air boom, which means it's in the air if it's got the potion on it and it is in the air. So it's in ground zero B. So it's still in the air. So now I've got two states. So if it's in the air, it's it's tag boom, uh, it's air boom. And if it's on the ground, it is boom. Okay. Then I'm going to start playing my thing. So when it's air boom, okay, execute at entity tag equals air boom I'm going to play a particle cloud okay and that's just a particle and I'm going to force it so that we can actually see um, how far it actually you know kind of you go so there we go just go view and that's the particle cloud you are seeing uh, over there which is pretty pretty cool okay uh, the next thing is um, where is it okay the next thing is I'm actually adding to add entity tag equals boom. So when it's on the ground, I'm actually adding a huge explosion because uh, I, I've, I've, I saw that if you remove that, you won't actually see it explode. You just suddenly see a, a hole appear. Okay, so I'm just adding that huge explosion. You don't need to, but it's just to make it look pretty cool. The next thing I'm also doing is I'm executing at the tag equals boom. I'm summoning prime TNT, but I'm actually, um, I'm actually doing Passengers, so I'm actually having three TNTs riding on top of each other, each with a one tick fuse delay to cause a nice big big bang. Uh, and then, last but not least, I'm going to kill any 
entity with a tag equals boom. Now, obviously, I don't need to do that, do that because the uh, the explosion of the TNT will do, will kind of kill it. But if you're using any of the other arrows, you do need to do that. Okay, so that is just the TNT arrow. I'm very, very quickly going to show you um, the fire arrow. Okay, just exactly the same. When uh, the, it's an arrow, I'm going to tag it with flame if it has a potion uh, long fire resistance on it and it's in the ground. I'm going to do uh, in the air, so I'm going to do air flame if it is got exactly the same potion, Minecraft uh, long fire resist, and it is not on the ground. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to force the particle flame when it's in the air. So that will give me, let me just really swap that around. That will give me that nice flamey particle effect as it's flying around. Okay. Boom. Okay. Uh, where, where is it? And then what I'm doing is when it actually hits the ground, it gets the flame tag. I'm then going to set block a fire exactly on that particular block that it's in. And then I just kill it. I kill the, kill the flame. Okay, so um, I'm going to add uh, those two to the description. So, you, I mean, the rest you can all figure out yourself. And yeah, let me know in the comments. Link me to cool stuff you do with this. Once again, I know this is probably not the most unique or original thing, but this is something that I've, I've been playing with uh, for the last for the last kind of while. Uh, you'll probably see some one quest stuff. Uh, using this mechanic as well at some stage. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will check you all later.